It was 50 years ago in 1958 when Island Movers was established, and today it has grown into one of Hawaii's largest diversified transportation service companies. Under the leadership of Donald Takaki, Island Movers is now one of the business entities under its holding company, Hawktree International. Well, Hawktree began in the year 2000 because my brother, my father, and myself decided that as my brother and I became more and more active in the business community, we would need the flexibility to add new operations both to the existing businesses that my father and his management team had already built. Hawktree is simply Takaki, our last name translated into English. Taka is hawk, ki is tree, and we think that the characteristics of a tree in terms of stability and the characteristics of a hawk in terms of aggressiveness are a nice vision and a nice, or nice characteristics for any business. The strong roots and stability of a tree reinforced by the will, strength, and keen vision of a hawk symbolizes the character of the company. Let us lift it, let Among the most eye-catching and familiar companies under Hawk Tree is Island Movers, a company that has touched many customers in Hawaii through residential and commercial moves, contract furniture and appliance deliveries, warehousing, and general trucking. The green trucks are seen all over Oahu and Maui, and Island Movers is one of the reasons why Hawk Tree ranks among the top 250 companies in Hawaii. Hawk Tree also includes a company that specializes in business record retention as well as destruction of confidential materials, an AV lighting and event services company, and a courier company. Ever the visionary, Donald Takaki has also played key roles in advancing Hawaii's tourism industry. We should all realize that any impact worldwide, especially in tourism, has a severe impact on the Hawaii's economy because our economy really is largely dependent on the tourist industry. And if it, one part of our economy slows down, it impacts all of the rest of the economy. In 1988, the Hawaii State Legislature passed the Convention Center Law, which enabled the development of the Hawaii Convention Center. The Convention Center Authority was established to pave the way for a world-class center, which opened for business in summer 1998. The Hawaii Convention Center sits on 9.7 acres of prime Waikiki property and was built on time, on budget, at a cost of $350 million. Takaki has served as chairman of the Hawaii Visitors and Convention Bureau, as well as the Hawaii Convention Center Authority and Aloha Festivals. To meet the needs and demands of an ever-growing clientele, Hawktree has added international convention and event services to its roster of companies. ICES is a full-service stage and lighting services company which manages logistics for its clients at major events. Takaki quickly realized the necessity for a one-stop operation so that event planners would not need to worry about bringing a team of site engineers, designers and personnel to Honolulu. Takaki's two sons are part of the family business. Don and Ryan are accomplished businessmen in their own right, and through mentoring and experience, they have expanded the existing company structure. Son Don had this to say about working alongside his dad. I learned that it's important to always keep the big picture in mind, to try to, with a combination of discipline and caring, move the organization in the direction that it needs to move. And that it is, of course, important to take care of the people that are helping you move the organization forward. We all are involved in different ways in the different businesses. Um, it's hard to say really a specific focus in a specific business that each of us do. I, I myself am involved with some business even outside of Hawktree that could be considered some spin-offs. But within Hawktree, uh, we do have overlapping roles um, with each other, so we just all do our best we can to contribute. and and, you know, make things as, as best as they can be. 
The Takaki sons, Don and Ryan, also talk about the influences in their lives. I worked fairly closely with my father, and I worked especially closely with the management team that he had put into place, and which I still work with closely today. Uh, in particular, he had a, he has longtime business associate and even partner, uh, Lance Teriyama, that uh, I've worked with closely as well as my father and the other business members. You know, I got to, I think, acknowledge a lot of different influences in my life. You know, I think, you know, even personally going back a well, while, you know, my mom obviously had a big influence in my life. I think going forward professionally, I learned from a lot of people uh, within our different businesses and in, even outside of our businesses that I've met, uh, in, in particular within Lance Teriyama, who's our president of our businesses, including Island Movers. While the Takaki sons have chosen to stay close to home to work in the business, they have also come to realize that succession in the family business calls for a certain amount of freedom. We work together by giving each other space. We know in some family businesses, the family members get together daily on operational issues. However, for us, we operate by giving each other enough space to, to operate our own businesses. Besides Takaki's mantra of working to make Hawaii part of a global economy, he is also passionate about the Island Movers sports program, which was established 24 years ago. The Pacific Region Baseball was originally started to help the UH baseball program. A few years later, the league was involved with teams in Hiroshima and Aichi prefectures in Japan. Over the years, Takaki and Island Movers have given nearly 20,000 student-athletes worldwide the opportunity to participate. He tells us about a recent trip to Japan with the Hawaii All-Star Girls Basketball Team. Actually, that girls team, we had 10 girls we picked from all over the state, private public school girls, and basically, they're the best of the best. And before we went, in our first meeting with the parents and the girls, I said that basketball would only be 5% of this trip. 95% is about learning culture, about education, learning about ourselves, and preparing ourselves to make the transition to go to college, and trying to be independent. A businessman with acumen and a mover in Hawaii's business community, Takaki also has the foresight to think beyond his generation and that of his sons. Here he talks about the fourth generation. From the beginning of my journey, I believed that the mission was not about me, not about my two sons, maybe not about the third generation, but it will be the fourth generation that could really take advantage of what we started and that that generation could make great, great impact not only on our community, but internationally. Advice in the Takaki family is laden with certain words and expressions. Donald Takaki, who is also an avid supporter of scholar-athletes, says it all in counseling the girls' basketball team playing in Osaka. I run a tight ship, so I'll tell you exactly how I want you to be and act. So I told him it's very simple. When we're playing the game, I want you to play, to play hard, play fair, don't complain about officiating, and so forth and so on. Off the court, I want you to act, talk, walk, and smell like beauty queens. I want you to act like you belong wherever we are. Like we're in Osaka, Osaka is a humongous big city compared to Honolulu. I said, walk and act like you're from there, like we belong. The Honolulu Japanese Chamber of Commerce is proud to honor Donald M. Takaki and his family. Thank you for being a strong supporter of the Honolulu Japanese Chamber of Commerce. We wish the Takaki family, Island Movers, and the entire Hawk Tree International family the best of what's to come. And in Donald Takaki's words, every generation should make it a little better than the generation before. The fourth generation is crucial to move us forward. 
Uh, I think for my dad, you know, he has clearly you know, worked hard and done quite a bit all these years. I just, I would just like him to be able to do whatever he wants to do, uh, you know, enjoy his life and pursue whatever he wants to do, whether it be in the professional realm or his personal life. So I really, I just would like him to be able to go and enjoy his life. I, I wish that he's happy. That's the main thing.